8. George Spinkov on dialectics. Spinkov was born in 1937 in Belarusia, USSR, and is now a retired professor of physics. <clears throat> he wrote lectures called Dialectical View of the World, the Wave Model, in 2013. 1. The laws of formal logic were founded by Aristotle, 384 BC to 322 BC. They are the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of the excluded middle. 2. The law of identity claims any judgment about a subject of thought must be definite and invariable in the course of reasoning. That is, if A is A, where A is any judgment. The law is true only if time, and hence motion, is abstracted away. But, if we take into consideration time and motion, this law of identity turns out to be false. In other words, both A equals A and A not equals A. For example, both Rome is great and Rome is not great are both true and false if we take into consideration time and motion. 3. The law of non-contradiction states a judgment about a subject of thought must not be simultaneously affirmative A and negative A. Both of these cannot be true together. However, as we just saw, this is incorrect if we take into consideration time and motion. 4. The law of the excluded middle states at least one of the two opposite judgments A or not A is the true one and the third is not given. Again, this appears as doubtful in the world where motion is admitted, as for example black turns into white through the medium of many shades of grey. F 5. Dialectics were founded by Zeno of Alia and Socrates. The word has two meanings. 1. The search for the truth by conversations, which were carried out through the formulation of questions and the methodic, methodical search for answers to them. So this is resembling our experimental method, where we try an experiment and see if it works or doesn't. Instead of experiments, the ancients had questions and replies given to these, which are like results of experiments. Hence, denial of dialectics, in this sense, means a denial of experimental method, as conceived by the ancient Greeks. 2. The second meaning of the word dialectics is the capability of vision and reflection by means of notions of the opposite facets of nature. In other words, opposite aspects of nature contribute to our understanding of the whole. Thus, 
The Latin word for the truth, veritas, is broken into three parts and displayed on three different shields, an emblem of Harvard University. 6. Postulates of Dialectics 1. Material ideal world exists. 2. Any object or relation is in a state of evolution that is both equals and doesn't equal to itself. When we consider fast changing physical processes at the molecular level or deeper, the truth of this postulate becomes yet more obvious. This is because particles at the subatomic level last a fraction of a second. See the picture. Hence, a dialectical judgment about a process can be yes, no. 7. In a general case, a logical dialectical judgment L is the function of the elementary judgments yes and no. L equals the function of yes and no. 8. The existence of qualitatively opposite properties is the fundamental law of the universe, stated in a different way. Reality is built as a symmetry where everything has its opposite, or everything has a matching anti-thing. For example, electron, a particle with a negative charge, and positron, a particle with a positive charge. 9. For the description of the opposite properties of objective reality, it is convenient to use complex numbers, as the numbers with polar, polar opposite algebraic properties. See complex numbers in Wikipedia. The transformation of the kinetic field into the potential one, or the electric field into the magnetic one, means in the language of complex numbers, the transformation of the real numerical field into the imaginary one, and vice versa. 10. In dialectical logic, the law of identity is replaced by a law of affirmation and negation. About any one thing or process, we can both affirm and deny a particular quality in definite proportions. 11. In dialectical logic, the principle either A or B doesn't correspond to reality. The real situation can be both A and B to a various degree. 12. Let's take a look at the theory of relativity. On the one hand, only relative speeds exist, as two objects move only relative to each other. On the other hand, there is the absolute speed of light, which is the same for all observers in uniform relative motion independently of the relative motions of sources and detectors. Hence, speed is both a relative concept and absolute. 13. Dialectical contradictions are so much at the heart of the world that it is possible to say that if a theory doesn't contain a dialectical contradiction, 
it is only an approximation and hence is false. The world is dialectical. This makes possible paradoxes or self-contradictory statements that are true. The world is paradoxical. For example, a famous Russian literary figure, Ostap Bender, used to say, saving the drowning man is a task for the very drowning men themselves. In Russian, спасение утопающих – дело рук самих утопающих. Another paradox. Many discoveries in every field are made by newcomers to the field without the baggage of existing knowledge. Thus, Alfred Wegener, at the beginning of 20th century, proposed the drift theory of the continents, which was denied as late as 1960s by such well-known figures in the field of science as Isaac, Isaac Asimov. 14. A universal axiom of dialectical physics is the axiom of the wave nature of all objects and phenomena in the universe. In other words, all objects are both waves and particles, just like light is. And this is perhaps the reason why music makes so much sense to all sentient beings in the universe, as it is a kind of vibration, a combination of waves, in tune with the way the universe is structured.